Excel is very good at pulling information from a lookup table and here we have some cities in Florida and the distance between those cities. We're going to plan a trip. We'll have a city that we're starting from, the city we're going to, and from the table Excel will find out how many miles are between those cities. And to do this we're going to use the index and match functions. First thing though, to make it easy to enter the cities, I'm going to create a drop down list in each of these cells using data validation. So with this cell selected, I'll go to the data tab on the ribbon, click data validation. I want a list and the source is this list of cities. Click OK and that puts a list in here so now I can select a city name. To quickly get that same list into the next cell, I'll just drag across. Now I'll pick a different city, so maybe I'd like to go from Jacksonville to Miami. I've got conditional formatting on this table, so I can see that the distance between Jacksonville and Miami is 342 miles. In this cell, we're going to use the index function to find out where Jacksonville is in the rows and where Miami is in the columns, and then return the value from that row and that column. So to make this work, we have to find which row Jacksonville's in, and in the cell below, I'm going to use the match function to see how that will work. Type equal match open bracket. The lookup value is the city name that we're looking for. So I'll click on the cell with the city we're coming from, comma. Then where should it look for that city? And it's in this list, comma. I want an exact match. So if it doesn't find the city, it shouldn't give me any mileage. So I'll double click on exact match, close the bracket and press enter. So it's telling us that it found Jacksonville in row 5, and if I check here, that's correct. For the city that we're going to, I'll use a match function, equals match, open bracket, the lookup value is in this cell, the city we're going to, comma. It will look across this list at the top, comma, and again, exact match, so double click on that, close the bracket, press enter. So Miami's in column 7. If we look at 7, that's correct. Here we'll use index to find what is in row 5, column 7. Equals index, open bracket. The array is where it's going to look for the information. So where's the table it should go to? So that's starting in this cell with the first mileage down to the cell with the last mileage comma, the row number is what we found here, comma, the column number is where we're going to, close the bracket, and press enter. So here's the same answer that the conditional formatting is highlighting, so it's 342 miles. If we select a different starting city, maybe we're coming from Tampa, going to Miami, it's 246 miles, so that's row 10, column 7. We can see that that's the correct answer. Now you could put all of this in one formula, so instead of having the match functions below these cells, we could put them right in here. Close the bracket, and we get the same result. So by combining the index and match functions, we can look up a value in a table. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.